Welcome. So today I want to talk to you about layered planting or lasagna planting as it's called. Um, I'm, I'm trying to give it a tropical twist. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the whole premise of it. So in layer planting what you do is you plant your lates at the very bottom of your planter. Uh, then you plant your mid season. So this is going to be um, April, May, May kind of area. And these are your early, so it's January, February. January, February, March, they pop up first and they die back. And the May comes through from the next layer down and then die back. And then your Junes will come up underneath. So what it means is you have an area of interest all through the season. I've got an awful lot of bulbs. I'm gonna talk you through some of the ones that I've got. Um, I really do apologize if you've been in Bristol and you've been looking for Fritillaria because I have them. <laughs> I have all of them. <laughs> uh, and this is actually only, I have some more of these, but I, I don't wanna put them all out. So if you've been watching anything that I have done, I've been looking for Fritillaria for quite some time. Um, I wanted to plant them last year, but I was just out of time. And these ones from Wilco, they're two pounds. They vary greatly. These, this one is only two pounds. There's only one in there. This one, five pounds. Okay, so buyer beware. They're exactly the same. Um, I actually think that's the same picture. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Is it? It's the same picture, but in reverse, isn't it? Okay, so that's come from the same company, clearly. It has, it's the same picture, flipped. Anyway, so they come from the same company, they're gonna be exactly the same. This one's five pounds, this one's two pounds. Who loses? You do. Three extra pounds for this. These are my lates. I've tried to pick some varieties that look really um, tropical. These are alliums, so they're gonna be quite large um, and unusual looking. So of my earlies, Obviously, I've got lots of crocus. Now, I'm probably going to put those all over the garden, to be honest with you. Those are two the same, dwarf crocus. For this pot, I'm thinking of having some lovely orange monarch, because I think they'll go really nicely in that blue pot um, for an early, and mix that in with some iris, which I've, which I've got two really beautiful varieties. For the tulips, I've gone for mostly parrot tulips, because I think they are quite um, bright and unusual and tropical looking, like a beautiful tropical bird. And these ones, which I think look a little bit like a water lily or something like that. They're dream touch tulips. Um, most of these you can get from any average garden centre. They will have lots of different varieties. These ones you might have to order online because they are a little bit harder to get hold of, but I have been scaring the shops. I've got some miniature mixed and some double late blue spectacles. So in this tub here, we're gonna be doing this tub here together. Here is what I'm using for the soil mix. I've got some leftover multi-purpose compost, mostly a big bag of John Innes number two and some horticultural grit, which I got from v &Q, uh, which was only about four pounds. This is a horticultural grit that I've got in a tub ready to mix. I do realise how silly this looks, but I've taken some pebbles from the pond and some horticultural grit and just put a broken cement tile over the top of them just to protect that drainage hole so it doesn't get waterlogged. Otherwise, they're all going to go rotten and you definitely don't want that. Here is the grit and the soil mixed together. The ratio is one part grit to two parts soil and I've used John Innes number two. And as you can see, John Innes number two is already quite full of sand, so it'll be really good for drainage. Okay, first layer of soil has gone in and this is my top tip. I've got a barbecue stick, which I marked out, sorry, the depth of the pot. And then I marked out how much my cyclamen would take up, how much my crocus would take up, and then the soil in between and, um, you know, my tulips and fritillaria. And so I can put that into the soil and I know that's enough soil. Um, look, you don't have to do that, but I'm the sort of person that does like to know. I don't like to leave it to chance. Um, now I'm going to put my bulbs in. So that's the fritillaria in and I've put them amongst the parrot tulips. Uh, some of them are blue and some of them are these mixed parrot ones. So the fritillaria and the parrot have gone in. Um, on this layer and I've left the stick in just so I can see where the bulb bit I've measured where the bulb's going to go the tops of the bulbs and then I'm going to fill up soil to here and I'm going to go crocus and then I'm going to put my cyclamen in so on to the next layer 
This is my next layer. It's a layer of the dwarf iris and the crocus. A thin layer of dirt will go on top and then I'll put some mesh to protect um, and then the cyclamen on top of that. And I realised this, I went out to film this in the middle of the night, but I think it's quite important to show that actually I cut this wire mesh on top of the top layer and then I'm going to put my cyclamen on top. Because these bulbs smell and it will attract wildlife who will dig it up and eat them. And this is what it looks like all planted up. And as you can see, it's got, it's full of cyclamen. I could have mixed it up and put different things in, but you know what, I just want to have something that's going to pop up every year and I'm hopefully just going to leave it planted. Um, these blooms are going to last until about, uh, well they'll last all through the winter and probably um, last until the crocus start emerging. So yeah, this is my planter.